All right, in this case study, I wanted to show you how to create a topographic you know, 3D site model when you do not have the surveyor's uh, plat, uh, just using the free tools with inside of SketchUp. All right, uh, I've got a case now where I've got two lots side by side where uh, people have approached me about building on both lots. So um, I'm just going to do a quick study on that one. First thing I'm going to do is go to uh, geolocation, add geolocation. And in this case, uh, I previously had searched this address, so that's why it's in there. But you could just put the address up in the address bar and pop up to it. But basically, I'm going to look at these two lots right in here. And there's the lake, of course. So the first thing I'm going to do is select region, and then just move these pins to surround the lots that you want. I want to get a, some of the lake in there. And it's good to have the adjacent houses too, so I can help in the study of the placement of these two. And then you select grab. And once you've done that, what's going to happen is when you come in, you've got on your layers, you're going to see a snapshot and then the Google Earth terrain. So those you can cut off and on. The terrain is actually the topography there. It's got the 3D uh, aspect to it. So that's what I'm going to use right now. Okay, and the first thing I'm going to do is that it comes in locked. I'm going to unlock it. And then I'm going to just simply, just to get a, um, a reference for the lake here, I'm going to draw a little box somewhere down the end of that. And I'm going to pick each of these lines and I'm just going to move them out to where they're past everything here. Okay. And then selecting move. So that looks like it's going to encompass the whole thing. And I'm down, uh, I chose the bottom point there thinking that that would be the water elevation, which is at around 795 here at the lake. All right, so I'm going to pick this plane. I'm going to select Move Copy. And I'm just going to move it up in the blue axis. And I want to go in two foot intervals. You can do whatever intervals you want, but I'm going to go 24 inches and hit Enter. All right, and then hit the asterisk for times. And let's say, you know, 12 times. Okay, we still need to go more, so you can say times, say, 16. Okay, let's go up to 20 times 26. Okay, so now we're above it all. All right, so what we're going to do now is simply highlight every bit of it, right-click on it, and say intersect phases with model. All right, and then we can actually get rid of all of these guys here, and you're going to see the contour lines are left. So now if you cut off your terrain, you're going to see these contour lines. And what I'm going to do is select them all. I'm going to create a layer called Contours, so I can cut them off and on later and control their visibility. Go up to our sandbox tools and say From Contours. And it's going to put a skin on there for us. Just like that. So there's your 3D site with contour lines. Uh, if you wanted to, you could get into it and, uh, let's, let's say, to cut the contours off. Let's let's um, take this group here. Um, I guess I didn't change the... Let's take this group. I'm going to create a layer called Existing Site. I'm going to put that on there, on Existing Site, under our Entity Info, Existing Site. That way I can cut that off. I forgot to put these on to contours, so I'm going to do that right now and call this contours. All right, now I'm going to cut those off and cut our snapshot on. And if you wanted to just kind of roughly know property lines, you could sort of gauge. You can tell, obviously, the grass line there. You know, you're going to be in from the street for your utility easements. And let's say it's about to there. See how people did their grass line. Go from there to about right there. And I'm just going to kind of throw a couple of arcs in here to fit the rest of this. All right, and then I'm going to draw a line to separate the two. And just guessing at this point, since we're doing a quick study get rid of these planes that were created. Then I'm going to just pick these lines by holding down the control, 
picking each of these segments. And I'm going to move that up just to get up above it. I'm going to cut the snapshot off. I'm going to cut my sight back on. And while those are already selected, I'm going to choose Drape. And drape those down onto that. And then I'm just going to get rid of these. And now you see we have a site model that's in 3D. So that's a start, it was a sort of a free way to get a quick uh, 3D model of your site.